and welcome again to another video on my processor. This is part two, um, where I promised to explain the ALU and maybe some other stuff that was going that's going on around here. So in the last video, you saw some of the register commands, like the read commands and the write commands and stuff. I'm I'm assuming that you've watched the last video, so like. I'm not going to explain anything else. If you're confused, go to the last video. You're probably still going to be confused, but maybe a bit less confused. So, yeah. Anyway, for those of you that have watched the last video, um, I'm going to demonstrate the ALU commands. So, the ALU can process four um, commands right now. So, first off here, let's just see what's in the registers. So, that's a three. This is straight from my last video, so they should both be threes. Yeah, they're both threes. Okay, so now for the ALU operations. So the first option is ALU AND, which is going to compare like some values from register um, one to register two and stuff. And it's only going to output a one for each lot if register one is one and register two is one or is just like yeah like or so either register one or register two will output a one nor is like um the opposite of or if register one or register two outputs then it's going to shut off it's only good if register one and register two don't input anything um five and oh right four is add it's going to add the register one into register two so since register one and register two are the same let's do the add so add is four this is a binary four you should know this and i don't have to specify any registers because it's implicit that register one and register two are going to be adding since it, based on the architecture of my um uh cpu so if i execute that a few times and then i um oh well first i have to load register i'll just put it uh as one into the acum i mean I'm gonna load the accumulator register into register one. If you saw me, I made that actually made that mistake last time, and I was surprised. So I'm not gonna do that again. So now register one should hold the value of the accumulator, and if we look, then three plus three is six, as you can see here. So it can add two values and output another value. So, instead of doing that, um, let's do something slightly more exciting. Um, so, let's do now do the AND operation between register 1 and register 2. So, what it should do is since register, um, one of the registers is 3, I forget, I think it's register 2, Register 2 is 3, so that would be 3. And register 1 is 6. Then 2 should be the only one that comes on. So it should output 2 after this AND command. So there's an AND. And let's run that. And now... Um, right, so... Here, let me just make sure it's in there. And now let's move the accumulator into register two this time. And there's the register move command. So let's execute that. And then let's view the contents of that. And it's two. You see, there it is. It's two. Now, let's do the or operation which is two, yes, this is two, this is two. So since uh, the contents of register two is now 
2, and the constant of register 1 is still 6, since, yeah, it hasn't changed, 6, then it should output a 6 into register 2, if I move it into register 2, which it looks like I have it configured, so I'm just going to do that. So, now I'm going to execute an OR instruction, and then another move instruction, and then I'm going to view register 2 again, and it's another 6. You see? Logic works. Things work. So, yes. That is a, oh. Well, I guess I could demonstrate the NOR command, so... Here, let's just do actually a, a nor command. So there, and since it's six and six, then I guess it should be zero, right? Um, here, let's just read the registers real quick. So that's six, and that's six. So it should be zero, right? Um. So register A, um, which has to put into register 2 again, since we're so good at doing that. And then the accumulator, the accumulator is register 3, but you can't write to it, you can only read for reasons in the last video. And so we execute that. Uh, flip these switches, flip that switch, reread it. Okay, I'm stunned. <laughs> huh. Uh. Okay, let me think about this for a little bit. So, we have a nor gate. And so, if an or gate is going to output one, one, and both, then a nor gate should be true if they're both zero then a nor gate should be true if they're both zero all right what i'm not considering is that there's two other slots in the register that are both zero which are um i mean i guess uh nine that would be um Five plus four? Yeah, that would be like five plus four. Although, um, so we have eight, four, two, and one. Oh, eight plus one! Eight plus one, people! Eight plus one. Eight plus one. Yep. That's what made nine. That's what made nine. So, yeah. Yeah, the computer's not wrong. So, yeah. Okay, all right, so awkward silence Here I might as well show you the ALU blown up because this program is really nice It allows you to create like little integrated circuits uh, Let me just check my time So I'm gonna have to do it really quickly So it allows you to create like little integrated circuits like this and condense like giant things like this into this But it was, uh, basically all this shit which has become input pins uh, the lights become output pins you should know what this means. Um, I'll do a video demonstrating the principles of logic, but not right now. Um, so these are a bunch of AND gates and OR gates and stuff. So basically, this is the AND operation. So these are the AND gates for the register. And then those. this is an enable switch. No, uh, OR gates, second enable switch. So if I... That. That. Oops, no, not that, that. Yeah. And then this is enables nor, which should be all on because there's nothing. There's nothing. They're both off. And that would be the add command. So. 2 plus 2 is 4. This is fine. Yeah, so 2 plus 2 is 4. So, yep, that's just 
the inside of the ALU, and then this thing has the inside of that thing. Okay, so peace out.